my trip is coming to a close, but there's still one park left. And it happens to be my favorite park by far. That's the Raven, meaning I am at Holiday World in Splash and Safari for today. I am so excited to get back to this park. And uh, last time I was here was for Hollywood Nights last year. And obviously I'm not here for Hollywood Nights this year because, well, we all know what happened. I just wasn't able to get tickets. So I'm still all excited to get back to this park and get on the awesome rides here like Raven, Legend, Thunderbird, and especially the Voyage. And I cannot wait to keep my streak of riding Thunderbird every year since it first opened alive because I've been riding it ever since it first opened in 2015 and it is 2023. So if I get one ride on it today, then my streak is alive. So. I just can't expect it. I'm gonna go straight there first thing and uh, get some rides in. And I'm only here for one day, and usually I've been here for two days, but that's not the case for today. I'm only here for one day, which at least we got from uh, 10 to 9 tonight, so that's pretty good. And uh, I cannot wait to get on uh, Legend, because the Legend I want to ride again, because last time I was not running that good, and Raven was, uh, it was all right. Yeah, I'm excited to get on these rides here, so let's go in and have a great day. Just realized that the sign below the Raven logo that said it won the golden ticket for best wind coaster, or whatever it was, from 2000, I think, to 2003. That sign is no longer there, which yeah, I'm questioning why they removed it. It uh, signified the significance, I guess, that this ride had, but the ride still looks great from outside the park. It always gets me excited for summer day here at Holiday World. Just got first ride of the day on Thunderbird Zen Ride. That is how we do it. Man, that launch was amazing as usual. Ride was a little slow than I remembered, but I still had a great time on it. And now I'm gonna go take a ride on the right wing and then go do something different. Also, I found out that Raven is down for the whole day today, unfortunately, so not gonna be able to get on that, but that's really unfortunate, but probably a parts needed, so not sure I'll be able to get on it. That'd be cool if I was able to, though. That second ride was much more intense than my first one, and uh, I just saw a Voyage run, so I'm gonna be going down there in just a little bit. My second ride out of the way, I don't know if I realized that I mentioned this or not, but I've ridden Thunderbird every year since opening year now, so my streak is still alive. And now I'm gonna go ride Voyage, and since my last time riding this, I've done several elite coasters, including but not limited to Fury 325, Jurassic World Velocicoaster, The Incredible Hulk Coaster, Iron Quasi, Mamba, Orion, uh, Lightning Rod, there are so many other ones out there, Thunderhead's Prowler, so many of them. I'm really excited to see how this beauty holds up to everything else I've written because Voyage is still my number one and it's not exactly close. And I'm especially excited to try out the new track work I got uh, over the off season. So I'm really intrigued to see how that runs. So let's go down there and see how this thing runs because I'm excited for this thing. So glad to be back here at Holiday World and rewriting this awesome wooden coaster by the Grab.
only felt a little slower than I remembered, but that's how the last time I ride over without the mid-course on. And even with the mid-course on this time, it wasn't any worse in my opinion. It was just as good. So yeah, it's still my number one even with the mid-course. So if you're thinking I'm judging it based on tremulous rides, I'm not. I'm judging it how it is right now. And holy mackerel, that ride is just a mess. So good the best way. And uh, now I'm gonna go ride Gobbler Getaway because I haven't done that yet. And now I'm gonna start getting some shots of these rides. And then I'm making my way back up towards Legend because I know Raven's down for today, but Legend is still going. So I'd like to try that again. Because last year it wasn't running that good. It was kind of slow and not that forceful. So let's see if today's going to go. There we go. Jeez. Oh, I swear, that thing was going way too fast with a twisted hill over the station. And oh my god. Yeah, that twisted hill over the split hill might be my favorite element on the ride now. That hill was firing way harder than I, what I remember. So, man. Call it a real kill with this retracking. 2340 on Gobbler Getaway. Not a bad round at all. I struggled a little bit in the first little bit of the ride, but later on the ride, I got my just down and I got it good. So I feel really good about that performance. Now I'm going to start getting some more shots of Voyage and Thunderbird. And uh, I'll make my way back up towards Legend after a while. <laughs> than it was this morning. I don't know if the launch sped up or there was more weight in the train, which it could have been that second option, but that wouldn't explain why the launch felt more forceful this morning. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I'm intrigued to see how that one is, but uh, yeah, once the next train comes out, I'm wondering if it was just my imagination now. Let's see what happens here. And uh, third time is coming out any second. Like, I don't know. That looks... Okay, I don't know. That's very interesting. I don't know. Comment below about what you guys think. Do you think that's running faster than, like, what was that loop? Man, I don't know. Comment below about whether you guys think this thing is running faster or not, because if I had to guess, that thing is running so much faster, which, I mean, I'm sure it was, but what is the culprit? Do you think it's the launch? Do you think it's more people on the train or a little bit of both? I don't know. Comment below what you guys think.
legend, but as I was filming it, it looked like it was hauling through the So, I'm going to see how it rides today. And hopefully it's better than last time, because last time it wasn't that good. So, let's see how it runs. year but it's not as good as 2021 legend in my opinion i thought 2021 was much much more intense than this ride was now but right now it was way more intense than last year so i'd say legend is going up a little bit on my list i think i have it ranked uh behind the beast right now i'm definitely putting it back over the beast but would i put it over twisted cyclone i don't believe so i think i have legend between beast and twisted cyclone so overall i'd say legend was uh better this year than it was last year now I'm gonna head down towards Voyage, get some more shots of that, and maybe grab a second ride on it because I've only ridden it once today. much faster than this morning. My morning ride was good, but this thing elevates it to another level. And oh man, that spaghetti bowl, it was just absolutely insane. And uh, oh man, I don't think the twisted hill over the lift hill was as good this time, but I think that's because I was on the right side and it really hits when you're on the left. But I don't know, I think that uh, this hill particular, I might be a little bit better on the right. I don't know if it's going down right now. So, uh, boy, it's overall insane. While I'm here, I might as well get some shots of Legend from the water park and then work my way back around up to that area near Void and then go up to Pennifer from there. So let's start getting some shots of Legend.
Thunderbird again. Gonna ride front row right wing this time. Cause I did twice on left wing so far and once on right wing. So to balance it out, let's go for second on the right wing. Thunderbird. I don't know if I said this or not, but they are possibly the fastest I've ever seen them this year. They are constantly sending out trains less than a minute after the prior one hit the final brakes, which I think is really good for this ride. Usually it's like, I don't know, two minutes or so in between intervals, I guess you could say. But they've been constantly sending them out within less than a minute or a minute and a half, which is great. I'm uh, really impressed with how good Thunderbird's crew is. And I feel like some of the members might have been to Kings Island and operated right there because the uh, Kings Island crew is just nuts. And this crew kind of reminds me of that. So overall, I have no complaints if you got it going right there, which is really, really good today as well. So I'm going to go back down to Voyage now. I think this happened earlier too, and then I was down for about 10 minutes. So it uh, looks like that happened again here. Voyage was an absolute madhouse on my most recent ride. 
Still in the most intense and most aggressive out of the three I've done today. What I'm gonna do now is go up and ride uh, Thunderbird a few times because Thanksgiving section closes early and I don't know how long the line for Thunderbird is. So I'm gonna be going up there, riding that a couple times, and then having another few rides on this and then going to ride Legend again. Cause I've only done Legend once today. And I'd like to get a second ride. So I'm gonna go quickly get on Thunderbird, hopefully like twice. I'll do one more on each wing. Then come down here, ride Gobbler Get Away, and then go back to Legend. And you see upright, facing forward at all times, with the head against the headrest, and all the ride was awesome. It keeps getting more intense as the day goes on, which is just nuts. And I noticed that the ride has been having some weird things going on with the launch. Like, a few minutes ago, a train rolled up to launch with no rumbling or anything, sat there for about a good minute, and then all out of nowhere, the thunder goes off, and then the ride launches, which I find weird. I don't know what's going on with the ride. It's almost falling apart in a certain way, but not saying it actually is, obviously, but... Oh, man. The launch sequence is all messed up with this thing right now, it looks like. My gosh, I got last ride of the night on Voyage. Even with the Mako song, that felt like a trimless ride, I swear. That was going way too fast. Oh my gosh, that was identical. Oh, I am shocked at what I just experienced. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. And that just faulted again. That's what that sound was. It faulted. So, what I'm gonna try and do is try and go for one more ride on the legend. So, let's go. Oh, Legend is close. I don't care though. That last ride on Voyage was a perfect ride to end my trip on. Holy cow. Holiday World's drone and fireworks show is now going off, and I feel like this is the cool way to end out the vlog with that in the background. Final ride count for today was five on Thunderbird, four on Voyage, two on Galva Gateway, and one on Legend. 
despite Raven being closed all day and me not being able to ride it, this was an awesome trip to Holiday World and the awesome end to the trip in general. There were some awesome highlights to this trip, not limited to, but including riding Air Force One for the first time, getting 600,000 on Over George's Justice League, which I did not expect to do, getting back on Fury 325, getting a whole new appreciation for Afterburn, getting some awesome rides on Mystery Mine, which I really started to appreciate that at the time and that was left over there. And of course, that last uh, trimless level ride on Voyage, and also keeping my streak of riding Thunderbird every year since the first opened alive. So, overall, this is a really cool trip, and uh, I cannot wait to go on more trips like this in the future. And of course, before we click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already, and be sure to comment about what you enjoyed this video. Be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. My next vlog, I'm pretty sure I'll be going back to my home park at Six Flags St. Louis for the first time in almost a month, so stay tuned for that. And thanks to you guys again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.